Right, very quick one for you, the four in hand tie knot. Now this is probably the quickest, simplest and easiest tie knot you'll ever learn. And the, probably the first one you want to teach your kids because for going to school, it's a very, very easy one to master and looks really smart as well. Classic school tie knot. So thin end in your left hand, wide end in your right hand, cross them over, wide end over thin end. Once under and over the top, up the back and down the front. As you can see, you're feeding it through that little loop that you created by passing it round. Now, as you can see, it is uh, an asymmetrical knot, so it's not as um, it's not as formal looking uh, or as big as the Windsor knot. And it's uh, for that reason, a lot of people prefer it. It has a little bit of a bit more charm to it than the, than the Windsor knot. Not as sophisticated, but equally as uh, versatile. Now, as you can see, um, it's, a, it's a very, very slim knot. It looks great with a, a smaller collar. As I said before, if you get the, the tie knot to roughly finish at the same uh, spot as the collar points, then that gives you a really nice finish and a well-balanced uh, looking collar. Now, uh, a, a slight variation on that, oh, I should say, to untie it, unlike the Windsor knot that you have to physically untie, this is a very quick one to untie in that you just pull the thin end out of the back and it just unravels like that very quickly, very quick to take off and your kids aren't going to get all uh, in, a, in, a, in a bother with it. So the second variation is exactly the same, but you're going once over the top, twice over the top, and then up the back and down the front, exactly the same. The only difference is you're going twice round instead of once. So this gives you a slightly fatter knot, um, just as easy to do, uh, but that's, that's the only difference. It gives you a, a slightly larger knot with the same, the same technique. And just the same to, to unfasten. As you can see, I'm going with the purple theme today, which uh, the purple goes lovely with the gray and the navy blue, and just finishes the outfit nicely. So that's your four in hand knot, the two variations, as I say, probably the simplest and most versatile knot and one you want to go and teach your kids. If you want to see any other tie knots, um, we'll do some pocket squares next and uh, anything you want to see or any comments you have, just let me know.